Me do sa de gargan. For those of you who don't know about Greek mythology, I me could tell you about Medusa. Medusa was a mythological woman who lived in a cave. Boy, a alpha. Not a boy, little enough. <laughs> River flood and rain a fall. Rain a fall, but dirty tough. Come on! But remember, you know, great mind discuss ideas, you know, average mind discuss events, and small mind discuss people. This is the Cutting Edge on RFM, and next Wednesday, rainy night in the rainforest, as I can say. We give thanks, we give thanks, we are still here. You know, with all the whole heap of things we are going, it is wonderful to say you are still here. You know them really, considering. So we're going to take you through the paces until 2 o'clock, you know, with reasoning and things. You know, we're not going to go into you know, the argument. <laughs> you know, because what is happening now is the COVID vaccine and all these things tomorrow we'll work with that you understand so we're going to continue the journey because it's a long journey it's a liberation journey it's a freedom journey it's a realization of self journey trying to find self that is the journey this is the cutting edge and i refer suppose you stand up in front of your mirror one day and don't see your reflection what would be your thoughts? So, this story is a story we tell many times. I'm going to say it again. There was a man in a village saying, really want to find God. He want to find the highest level of consciousness that, him, that you know about. So, I'm going to go to some sage, some priest or monk to tell him which part him can go or what can he do to reach the level of what I call nirvana, heaven, blissfulness, utopia. Well, the first one I'm going to tell him is he must go down in another village and he must say, a lot of women, beautiful women, and them will satisfy all his desires and make him reach to Zervana, or what you call blissfulness. So I'm traveling for days and go down to the village, buck up and whole heap of women, and after him done, go through everything and everything, him find out, say, no, him not find God. Or where I look for. Him no find the consciousness where I look for. Him still have to find out now which part this consciousness there, which part is this this heights of levels, this what them call God, the Buddha, which part him there. So him start to ask a next a next sage again you know, and say, say alright. There's a war in a next village. If you go down there and allow the people them to win that battle, you will find the God that you're searching for. So I'm taking the sword and all the things that are necessary for fight, and I'm go down in the village and I'm fighting the war. And it's so up that the village where I fight for win the battle. But when they win the battle and they win the battle, him realize say, but him no find where my look for. So he must go find a next monk, priest or sage. And the, the monk tell him, say, all right, there's a mountain. When you look up there, you see almost like the clouds upon the side of the mountain. You're going to go up to that mountain. And in that mountain, there's a cave. 
Are you going to the cave? Are you going to find a book? And that book will lead you to where you look for. The level of consciousness where you look for, you will find it in that book. So we're going to tell you the next part of the story. After they had them, we're on the cutting edge. For those of you who just joined me, we was talking as a story. We was telling a story, actually, about a man who was searching for God, searching for that heights, that nirvana, that you know, utopia. And we were saying that in past two villages, villages that was in war and him help them win the war, village with a lot of beautiful women. Him had him away with them. And now him find out one now who tell him, say, look here now, there's a mountain top that you have to go to. And there's a cave. And you're going to go in that cave. And you're going to see a book. And you will find what you're looking for. The thing is that him did have to go back through the village them. And him have to go back to where him was coming from originally. But him actually never come from the mountain top. He was right and in the valley of the mountain. So he turned back and it took him days to travel. He may be buck up at a place where it's more riches that he could have ever said. And the riches that where he could have said. Even though he see the riches and realize he could have attained that riches. It still never gave him that fulfillment where I look for. That God where I look for. That search where I look for. So he reach a mountain and him decide say I'm going to go up the mountain and him start to trek up to the mountain till him reach a cave when him reach a cave him go inside of the cave and him see the biggest book him ever see big book never see such a large book before and him say okay because you know I don't know this is going work because there's nobody here but me and the the monk did say I'm going to find God up here but how can I find God in a place where I alone is with a book so I'm saying so I remember to see it say must open the book so I'm got to know and him decides say I'm going to open the book him open the book to page one and what him see in the page was a mirror. And him said, this come like a game, you know. This come like a joke business. So him turned the next page. And him see a mirror. And these two pages are reflect himself in it. And him keep turning the pages and turning the pages. And all him see upon the pages was mirrors of himself, was reflections of himself. And he really tried to figure out what the hell is happening here now, because how can this man send him on such a long journey to find a book with mirrors, the book of mirrors, that only reflect him. And then him say, a man coming out of a dark place, where him look, is a sea monk, where him tell him say must come to the mountain top to the cave and him see the book and in that book him will find God the sage come out him look on the sage and say what kind of joke is this I've traveled so far for days traveling on this mountain and you told me that if I come to this book and open the book, I will find what I am looking for. The monk looked upon him and said, You have found what you're looking for, but it's just because 
what you're looking for look like you why you choose not to accept it because really and truly the God that you're searching for is you yes the mystery of God is always a mystery to man even though it's man designed all of the concepts and ideas and he's trying to project it outside of himself and not recognizing that all he's trying to do is find himself all I'm trying to do is find himself. But sometimes searching for yourself carry you through different trials and tribulations, agony and pain, and sometimes joy and happiness too. We all search for that nirvana, that utopia, that never-ending bliss. But most of we grow up to search for it outside, outside of yourself. And we lose trust in yourself. You know, sometimes them say, you are what you eat. I say, you are what you think. You are what you think. And sometimes your mind carries you in some places where your body can't ever go. But it's still you I go there. Because there's no mind in mind. So we'll come back now to the first question where we ask. Suppose you're looking at a mirror. And when you're looking at the mirror, you don't see yourself. What would you think? Because we remember growing up. And we watch Dracula movie, like all dark shadows. For those of you who are like me, and Barnabas Collins, the Dracula. We all we realize that uh, in reflection, not sure in a mirror. In reflection, don't show in the mirror. And that's a scary thing. If you are a human being, and your reflection don't show in the mirror. And then there is Medusa. Medusa the Gargan. For those of you who don't know about Greek mythology, I could tell you about Medusa. Medusa was a mythological woman who lived in a cave. And all her ear was snake. Snake in her head, just a grow up in her head, pure snake. Look like a lax. One of them tick up locks, but according to the mythology, is snake. So this woman grew a snake in her head, and she lived in her cave, and anyone will look upon her face to face, eye to eye, them turn stone. Anyone will look upon her face to face, turn stone. And this man, I don't remember where his name, him decides to uh, say, this woman is a terrible thing. She has to get rid of her. So I'm going to find out now. How can he get rid of this woman without him looking upon her? So I'm taking him shield and him sword and go up in the cave. And next cave argument again. <laughs> and next cave argument that is in the night. Yeah. But this story is very important to the scheme of things. Because it's, 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 it's a kind of wisdom and faith and understanding that is not in the bible because not only in the bible we find things to live by even though we grew up in a society that make you feel that way so this man take him sword and him him shield and him decides him to kill medusa because she is the she is the reason of many men dying trying to look at her and turn to stone. So I'm going to the cave now and the woman come out Medusa, the Gargan. I, I know I will if you might have heard that word already, the Gargan. Man did a sing song already but I am the Gargan in at this time. Well the Gargan is referring to that Greek mythological woman named Medusa. She's the Gargan. So 
me do so come out and what the man did was so ingenious. Him take him shield and all in front of him face. That when Medusa look upon the shield, she see a reflection and guess what? She turned to stone. That is how him get rid of Medusa, the Gargan. Him just hold up the shield in front of him face. And Medusa look upon the shield and see her own reflection and turn to stone. No bloodshed. She just turned to stone. Now, the argument is, I wonder if a person who don't see themselves in the mirror is really stone in them heart. Because no one looks in a mirror and don't see them reflection. And if you should look into the mirror and don't see your reflection, it means say, trust me, you do have no heart. You do have no heart. But because we know say in a every man chest there is a heart. We have to figure out now, why is it that we're behaving like we're stone? Why is it that we're behaving like the mirror that we're looking at, take away with spirit? Because some people actually believe that too. That's why they don't keep mirror in them house. Because them feel the spirit of the human being exists in the mirror. They don't want the mirror take away them spirit. In a, some places, in you know, a amongst our aboriginal people indigenous people them don't like you take them picture because them feel say when you take them picture you take part of them and them soul is very important to them so maybe maybe if you're looking at your mirror more often Maybe something with that joke your joke you for say, but me no stone. Me is human, flesh and blood, and me have a heart. And sometimes when we behave harshly with people, and all these youth we are run up and down over the place, them need to look in at the mirror. So a man sing a song. Michael Jackson, to be precise, say, eh? take a look at the man in the mirror. Woe unto those who look in the mirror and don't see themselves. Because then you know, say, you are dead. Or you are on the cusp of dying. Becoming like a stone that do have no heart. And I will leap away and walk around the place now. Like we do have no heart. Because all of we have a heart. All of we have a feeling. All of we think. No matter how cruel and wicked the thought is. But we think. And we recognize and understand. That if a man look in the mirror and see himself reflecting. Him should have take a start. Because that reflection is God. Because if we go back to the old Bible, and the Bible say, God make man in his own image. An image is a physical manifestation of something that is tangible or touchable. An image, an image is not something mysterious. An image... If a man make an image of something, it look like it's something that he make. Therefore, it's a manifestation of something else. But it replicate the something that he look at and make the image. So when it say, God make man in his own image, it really I say, man of God, 
because the same way how I look is the same way how God look and vice versa and likewise it's true if a woman looking at the mirror and see herself she have to come to the conclusion and say I am God but almost people want to accept that because them love to talk about God outside of themselves that is really what they might try to do. They might try to talk about God outside of themselves. And the only God that exists is the one that is you. And all the arguments surrounding that is created by man. All the arguments surrounding about who, what, where, when, why, how God is supposed to be what, supposed to be what, is created by man. Even the understanding that when you're looking at the mirror is an image of God you look upon. Even that was created by man. So we have to recognize the purpose or our purpose when we look in the mirror. The man in the mirror, the man in the mirror and to an extent, the woman in the mirror is the only manifestation of what we're searching for inside with self and in others. The man said, how can you say you love God in which you cannot see, yet still you cannot love who you can see? First, we are say that. We are say you have to love who you can see first because who you can see is a manifestation of who you think you cannot see. That is really what it is all about. Who you can see is a manifestation of who you think you cannot see. So we have to drop a belt and a buckle. And forget about all of the whole heap of this and the whole heap of that and the frills and the chills that put around it. You know, here some people try to give them deity all the accolades and the this and the that when you cannot make it greater or lesser than what it is. What it is is what it is. It's just simple that what it is is what it is. So when we look, according to the Egyptian book of the dead or them call it the coming forth by day to see the goodness in things you have to see yourself in that thing so make repeat that to see the goodness in things you have to see yourself in the thing because that is the only way you can recognize the I and I concept. There is no me and you are them and, and us. It's I and I. Reflection of self. If you want to make a change, take a look in the mirror and start with yourself. That is really what it's happening to and we are sending a messenger straight out to the youth them out there who take the opportunity to listen to them over the night, yeah? Even though the rain has fall too, you understand? I mean, no, say, you're going to your yard still because you say, you know, when the police come, go on, angry, you know, we say, you're in your yard and turn on your radio and you say, I'm out there, come on, you know, I have to listen to him. You understand? So we just tell you, say, listen to what we are talking about because it might sound complicated, but it's a reality and it's a truth. And most of the times when we are quote and I quote the Bible, we are sure you say there's other things and other books where have certain mythologies and certain reasoning and consciousness that we can really grasp tonight because the majority of people them outside of the Western world. Yeah, the majority of people don't live in the West, the Western world. India and China have so much people there 
You understand? And them people don't use the book where we use for really come to no fullness understanding of self. So, we just have said that as a by the way thing. But we know so we shall be released. We have to be released from a whole heap of things. Whole heap of things we have to get released from. So we're there with you. We're in through the paces. We are trying to bring to your attention certain levels. You understand? Because it's not every day you get to do it, and not every day you get to hear something outside of where you're really used to. Because we have to define ourselves at this time, yeah? especially as African people. We all we are going around, we seem to make we kind of almost lose focus. You know, we have to continue to keep focus. We will put distraction around you, where you make you feel like that more important. Make you lose focus. So we are say we don't want you to lose focus. Because if you lose focus, you're going to take your eye off of the, the prize. And we're talking about liberation and freedom. That is what we are talking about. That's all we are talking about, really. Liberation and freedom, we're not talking about nothing else. Because that is what we need. As African people, we need liberation and freedom. You know? And sometimes we make it look like we're free still. But I will probably don't know freedom because them them put in a cocoon make you feel like say we're free and really and surely as some little mickey mouse freedom according to a lucky dude but i say a mickey mouse freedom you know i will sop it up yeah we sop it up we sop it up in a way where it start to become our daily bread our daily food and it we still find ourselves in the same position and situation. Truly free is much more than what we are experiencing you now. Yeah, when you're free, it's much more, much more than what you are experiencing. You know, we look at people say, well, we're more talking about, we're, we're free. What oh, you mean? You know, say we're free. You know, say we have walk up and down and at Yeah, 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 yeah. That is where you are think. That is where I think because you don't really know what is true freedom. How it is, how it feels to be liberated. Because that is how we get trapped. We get trapped in that argument of, yeah, you know, we can go here, so and go there, so and go here, so. And that is where we take as freedom. But you cannot imagine if you come out of the cave. Which is our next door about cave again. <laughs> you know, the people at the cave. For them realities in the cave, you know. And them living at the cave and feel them free. Of course them free, but them free as it relates to inside of the cave. When one man come out of the cave and say, but wait, there's things outside of the cave that we never experienced yet. I wonder if we don't know them story there. I wonder if you don't know them story there. That's some serious story them, you know. The man them in the cave. All everybody in the cave. And that is them reality. The reality is what is in the cave. And once somebody come out of the cave and go see different life and come back, come tell them. And it's one rotted. Guys like they try to take away for them freedom you know, by telling them they say. Something other than what they are experiencing at the cave is exists outside of the cave. Much more than what they are experiencing at the cave is outside of the cave. And he become them enemy. Yes, him go experience something outside the cave and come back and tell them and now he become them enemy. Who tell them for go tell them that? Because that is what our freedom look like. Our freedom is bound inside a cave. And you think that you're free. But the only reason why you think that you're free is because you don't know nothing outside of that confines, the confines of the cave. You don't know. You know, it's like a man in a prison and him get locked in him cell. And then him get him let out if you go in the yard. 
go do certain activities, play football or, you know, play doing what I do. That to him is freedom. Him come out of the cell, the confines of the cave, the cell. Him come out of the confines of solitary. So to him now, that is freedom, even though there's four walls that confine him to that space. And people outside of that space can tell him, so there's more to be experienced outside than there inside of that space. There's more to be experienced outside of the cave than inside of the cave. But as I say, people who sometimes talk that truth, that truth about what lies beyond the cave, tend to sometimes become the enemy. Yes, sometimes you become the enemy because you speak that truth, that there's more to be experienced outside of the cave. You know, like, wow. So we just uh, pass that on to the people them in the night, yeah. You understand? We just uh, say, experience teach it wisdom. Experience not teach. It's, it's, knowledge is one thing, you know, wisdom is the other. Experience is what you actually become a part of in the doing in the realization of the thing that is happening you become a part of it that is experience knowledge is when you actually sit and get a perspective of certain things you know you don't have to experience knowledge Knowledge come through what we call now education. You get a certain education, you become knowledgeable. You know, it's like you're in a, a laboratory and you do a theory. Outside of the lab, you do theory. And the theory now, you have to go inside of the lab to be, make it get practical. Get the litmus paper them and test and do all sorts of tests to find what is practical, what is what can be done and what can be not, not that you can do. So people sometimes hold on on theory continuously. They have a theoretical understanding of things and find themselves get clawed into it. Clawed into that. And don't realize that that is just, just part of knowledge. The man who experienced the thing. Chronics coming through, you know, them said this is women's month so we have to celebrate the works of women we have some jamaican women that need to be celebrated and people are there about them Uno Morris, that woman who was the secretary of the Lassie, and was a poet and then they look upon her as a mad woman <laughs> i mean i tell you because she had to come for the rest of them. Them no panel as a mad woman. Yet she was, she was very important to Ellis Lassie. And they have a woman named Mary C. Cole. Mary C. Cole, a nurse who do great works. Great works. Jamaican, we are talking about. As a matter of fact, you have a hall of a university called Mary C. Cole Hall. And I bet you say, if you check the majority of students them in other hall there, I ask them who was Mary C. Cole. Them don't know who was Mary C. Cole. That is where the, 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 the system, the system set up a certain way to teach about things that is not of you. Because people will tell you about a whole heap of Europeans. Napoleon Bonaparte and I mean not no wrong for know about these people but not at the expense of your people and that is how them twist and twin taint history them taint history in the interest of themselves and then everything where you supposed to know look like it's bad something or is just irrelevant irrelevant to who 
So we hear about all Una Morris and we hear about Mary C. Cole. You know, you hear about enough, enough people, enough people in the history. You know, we look at people hear about nanny, but we don't know about nanny. It's some like a frivolous argument about to catch bullet in our bottom and all them something there. That is how them trivialize nanny. Some people say she never exists. Yeah, you have a whole pa people say nanny, it never exists. It's just a figment or just a mythology them come up with. But we know and we understand that a whole heap of them things that them tell you is just a great big deception. Part of them plan to deceive the people continuously. And now the youth them come up without any reference point. You have to have a reference point. And history is the greatest reference point. But if a man control your history and decide what you must figure out that gone before you and put you at the dregs of this history, you're in a serious situation and a serious position. The Council of Nicaea uh, was an effort by, by Constantine to control the people through military and through religion. Whoever can control your concept of God has a weapon more powerful than, than, than any physical weapon, than any sword, any, any gun, any atomic weapon. Whoever controls how you relate to the unseen presence of God will not only control you, but can control your children and your children's children. So it was at the Council of Nicaea that the Constantine, this emperor, needed to find a way to consolidate his power because the people that he conquered in various parts of the world had different religions, different, different ideologies. And it was at <coughs> Nicaea where he brought together these theologians, these, these scholars, if you will, to hammer out one uniform theology that everyone would follow. And if Constantine could convince people to take Jesus as God on earth and change that he was a human being, then they could take over the control of the Catholic Church and make one. So they invited. And one of the priests was an African known as Arius. Bishop Arius. There's a book called Blacks Who Died for Jesus by Mark Hyman. Gives the story of Arius. Arius now gets word that Constantine knows Arius is coming to, to dispute this. Because he's saying, how are you going to tell people this? That nobody's going to believe that story. That, that the Immaculate Conception? Come on, you know, that's written on the walls of Egypt. That's a mythology. That's an analogy. You're not supposed to believe that story. That's a nice story to live by, that each and every one of us has Jesus within us and every birth is an Immaculate Conception. But there was no one boy born as the Son of God, the freak. Come on, you, 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 you can't. Constantine said, look, come on over here. Now you see, I'm going to talk to you. He found out that he was going to be assassinated. So he fled into Europe with his followers. Arius and his followers became known as the Arians. Wouldn't Hitler have a heart attack if he knew who the real Arians were? They were a bunch of black folk. Everybody who was worshipping Isis and dealing with mostly a comedic religious philosophy, they said, we can't do this. This is ridiculous. This reminds me, there's no man called Jesus Christ. We ain't never heard of him. Well, Jesus Christ will take Hesus, which was the, the sun god in the West, and we'll take Christos, which was the sun god in the East, and we'll put them together. We'll have a, a name. And so what did he do? A man named Apollonius of Tyana, at that time, who had studied philosophy in Kemet, was teaching. He was a healer, working miracles. He was a hero at that time. So he became the template for Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You give thanks. Yeah. Oh, sound like you're asleep, so. No, you know what I'm saying? I've been there. I hope you not hear it. I'm not beer. I'm not tears on the place. I see you. I hope you saw a beer rain and fall, too. Look like it's an island white thing. It's so nice, though. Eh, hey, good man. Kind of beat on his zinc, man. I'm there. I tune in. I listen to the program, you know. 
For them, they want to our day now. Our day now, not there. No, you don't know, sir. Them can't function without we see me, <laughs> so you don't know, sir. You don't know a thing, go. Yeah. But we don't stand up and we defend them, you know. All right, sir. We have to move now, yeah? We have to move. Yeah, man. Because the whole orange is here, man. Everybody. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Thanks again, yeah, General. Yeah. Uh, greetings, Mother. Yeah, man. Blessed, man. Yeah, man. Blessings, man. Um, give thanks today. Mother's Day, you know, or Woman's Day, we call it. Uh, a month, them say. No, they must say it's a month. It's a month? Yeah. Oh, oh, enough people are saying the day is gone already, say. Done. No, man, the month no gone. No, I said enough people are just saying a one day thing. Oh, yeah, well, you like it was a one day, but every month, no, every day have something, you know. They have confusion, they have happiness, they have. Baking cake. You have a day for everything, though. I chew, man. I chew, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yell up Ayoban Street, you know, Barry Street, you know. Okay. Yeah, man. Yell up Everton, the taxi man, and Miss T, and, and Borrow the mechanic, man. Borrow? Borrow, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. I big up the girl from Barry Street, Roma. So, you know them, I listen now. Oh, you know them, I listen. Yeah, man, because they love the program, you know, especially okay. Roma. 
Yeah, man, about, it's about the sixth time I call you now. Hey. Yeah, man, I'm more than... Where you call before? You did not big up the people them said we yeah? yeah, man, me always say big up Southside and thing. Okay. Uh... Yeah, um, I just few things been in one ask them out and, and where me mm. about this thing, you know? Um, first of all, the, the, the movie there with Eddie Murphy coming to America too. It remind me of the Black Panther, the clothes lining and thing. Yeah. Show you Africa really special, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The suit, the men don't see the movie already still. Yeah, man, I see it, man. Yeah, man, the design, everything official and everything. Yeah. So you say so you start making some of them clothes, you know? I nah, tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, so when the Black Panther come out, yeah, everybody are aware that. Yeah, and now, right. yeah, coming to America, yeah, it's, yeah, they might they might up 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 making the plan to are the Black Panther still, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm Oh they might make it, yeah. Yeah, they might yeah, yeah. They might make part to resurrect but the the bridge in the way where they fall off, I think. Don't wanna play the villain role, man. While driving through Jamaica, there's only one radio station I listen to. Iria FM. Iria FM. Iria FM. Iria FM. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mota. Oh, that's that, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, me yeah. Ask, me ask you a thing, Mota, on the net with Malcolm X thing come up, the case. Malcolm X case. Oh, they might, they might go back in night again. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about it? No, well, them never really come to no conclusion about who, who killed him, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's a good thing for go through it again, you know what I mean? All right. So, I, I, hear, I hear them say the, the, the FBI did involve in it. Them yeah. set up two black men to do it, you know. No, you always have two little sellout in between everybody. Yeah, to do these part things, of the you know? FBI thing. Yeah, the same and, with them and do Marcus Garvey. Like him, black you see what them do with Marcus Garvey, you know? Yeah. Them set up a, yeah, man, Uva, Uva no set up a little black man in the, in the organization, man. Them couldn't send a white man, you know, them would have to send a black man. Oh, but them set up a like black you. man. See what them do with Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald, which now them have to open that case again, too. Because she'll have a tune named Strange Fruit. And they never want to sing that fruit there. They never want to sing that tune there. So them set up a little nigga to come amongst them. Them always do that. Them yeah, always do Black that. Black Panther, you, that, um, Fred, yeah. Fred Hampton. Um, Fred Hampton um, and you and you and all them, man. Yeah, yeah, it you, always catch me. I don't know why they make uh, I don't know why we make it. But you see, you can't tell because if a man, you know, generally yeah, yeah, come amongst you and, and yeah. go on a certain way and thing, you know, you, you, it's like you not expect him to do that yeah, until yeah, him do yeah. it, you know. So it always gets you. Well, that would happen to Malcolm X. You know, Malcolm X start fight against certain things, even within film group too. Mm -hmm. I remember him used to lick against Elijah Muhammad at the next time, you know. Yeah. Yeah, him start yeah, to yeah. expose Elijah Muhammad on a certain little level, and them never like that, you understand? So them, it, a weak spot, them find a weak link okay. in the organization, you know, for yeah. really deal with him with a dead blow and that was the end of that you know yeah they, they make a movie off of the fred black the, the fred fred hampton yeah. judas yeah. and the black messiah yeah and i want to tell you something too you know it's weird because it's a white man kill martin luther king oh yeah yeah no 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 you know, yeah, 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 and Jack yeah. Ruby. Lee Harvey as well and Jack Ruby, the two of them did involve in it. Them still not find out who organized who, that. Who organized that, but somebody did organize it. So maybe I'll send them to you down the line. Watch your man. You see the brother named Ed, Ed, Edgar Hoover. Yeah. A terrible man, you know. Him kinda, you know, same so used to dress. In a, in, a, in a woman clothes and all them something there. Right, you didn't know about him? Uh -uh. Yeah, man, he's a man where... Uh, this guy is some kind of weird. 
him not disguise. I don't disguise him or disguise. Oh, no, nah, hide it. Okay. You know, if, you know, if not hide them something. No, Everybody so why know. Do that? Because some, they know, man, you know, some man change them sex now to male, <laughs> female. And female are changed to male. What do you mean? And that I go on, you know, you have, watch out. In America, a man cannot get up and say he feel like a woman today and go in the man, woman bathroom, you know. Yeah, man, I saw the, I saw the place they get away. And you, you can't say nothing about it, neither. Can you imagine a man now feel like him is a... All right. A man can't feel like say him is a... Him, him is 17. Listen to me now, you know. A 50-year-old man can't feel like say him is a 14-year-old, you know. Mm. And start looking like a little 14-year-old girl. Big 50-year-old like man. Yes, yes. Because I must say, him, him, the age... It, it transcend all the age you now too. So you must say, well boy, right now I'm a fourteen. So you know say a fourteen year old like a look a little f a maybe a little thirteen year old. Yeah, next to next to yes, the same age. Then you know say all oh, them man you know should hang by them teeth. You know? Oh, oh, oh you cannot oh you cannot bring the level nowhere. A man is a man. And true him feel like a woman. You must now accept, say, him is feel like a woman, therefore him is a woman. So, you sit on your toilet. You, you, you are turned up on a piece in your toilet. And him come in there. And I say, him is she. Him is a she. <laughs> <laughs> you think to them face, say, you see. And to reach a Jamaica too, you know? Uh, yeah. They, they, oh, they, they have a shop boot and, and she, whatever, ma, man move like a girl. Come in and I buy something, but like he forgot him in wallet. So like the the shopkeeper said, where they left your wallet? Mm. Him start cost the shopkeeper and I say, where you talk about this wallet? I'm a purse, me I go for. You talk about wallet. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, so they so look at them address now. Infeminate. Right. Them dress, the tight pants and you know I mean, they, 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 them just like all the prisoners there. You know, so the prison the the. the, the the pants below your, your, your waist there, eh, where I show you a, a, a prison that come from, you know. Prison style, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah because, yeah. you know, them used to take, them used to take, take away the belt from the man, them, you know, because a man had hang themselves with belt in a prison. Oh. And them decide, so them will take the belt, them, take them with the belt. So, two them not have no belt now, them pants man, hang down, and them have, now, to, yeah. them have to walk with them two foot, stretch out from one another. To them That's the part no drop off. off. Mm -hmm. So, now it become a fashion. And the youth, them have it up, you know, as some man will lick against gay people, you know. Him have up this little thing. <laughs> it's easier for the gay them sight or you stay from the back, you know. Now that your pants are ease yeah. off, you know. The one that will lick out, them are, that's yeah. the mindset that they mean. Them are, yeah, them man, a terrible weird. thing, man, terrible thing. Kind of weird. Terrible hey, thing. Hey, Muta, I'm another topic again. The, 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 the man I keep, but not the, not the, Oh, in, in a light of yeah. going here, so no. In a light of going here, so no. You talk about we're going with, with, with Megan. No, with Ari, man. Ari and Megan. Yeah, 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 Ari yeah. And Megan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hear some news from England there where it sounds like the Royal House of Windsor in a serious problem. Eh, with the racism thing? Not wrong with the racism. Just where the, where the data did I say totally... But tomorrow we're going to deal with it. We have some people to talk to from England. We're going to talk about it. Yeah, you know? that's what I say. That's what I say to you now if you say, oh, oh you get take from that. No, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk nah, about nah, it. I'm going to watch a documentary with the mother still. You know? The mother looked like she was a real, like, she she not, she not take no talk from them, for them things. There's a black man she got to deal with, man. No, uh, oh, the uh, man from Egypt. Yeah, man, a million, billionaire man she got to deal with, man, and them yeah. vets, man. Oh, she forgot to do that? Yeah, but, but my mind is more time. My mother said she's she on Prince Charles' divorce, you know? Yeah, yeah, but it's no matter. And he's there with them. this um, woman there, you know? Yeah, but here I know, here I know. I don't know how much people know this, you know, but it's just recently our, our house, uh, the, the royal house of England, you was not allowed to marry a Roman Catholic, you know? You didn't know that? The royal house. Not yeah, married you, a Roman Catholic. Yeah, yeah, none of the family of the of the the the, the, the empire. The royal, yeah. The royal family was allowed to marry a Roman Catholic. If you're gonna marry, you have to marry somebody who's Anglican. 
Because the Roman Catholic Church, yeah, because the Roman Catholic Church is the church where Henry VIII break were from, you know. Yeah, yeah, him not, him because, not part of the, him because part of the of marriage, yeah, him didn't yeah, want yeah. divorce on his wife and the the, 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 the the Pope said no. And him say, all right, well, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. So Henry VIII just goes to bomb and farm the Anglican church and become the church of England. Yeah, England. Yeah, so now, from that until that, till Queen Elizabeth come, no one was allowed to marry a Roman Catholic, Catholic because that is a stigma of the Roman Catholicism that the Roman Catholic Church never allow Henry to do what he want to do. You know, see it? So okay. that the same thing now with white people and how them still, they, they, them look upon you, if you don't look like them get civilized in a certain way, you know, them still look upon you a certain well, way. Certain things, yeah. yeah, because, you know, all right, check this, check this. A black family would have more accept a multiracial marriage than a white family. Anyway in other world. Yes, anywhere in other anyway world. Anywhere in other world, I true that. A black family would have more gay leeway to yeah, them daughter go married a, a, a black man or them daughter go marry or them son go married a white woman. But you see a white family Rasta, it hard. You know, yeah, for them, for them deal, deal with that. Hard uh, hard if, for them deal with if she did marry the man from Egypt. I mean, if you tell me, say, Prince, um, Prince Charles, I have a man, him, 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 father, that would have to, we have to call a man, a son-in-law or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine that, yeah, call a Arab. Son-in-law, that's a, it's a, it's a terrible. Yeah, I, know, do, man, do, I man. know them, I look upon the, 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 the youth and I ask, them to that concern about the color of the youth. The EM son, yeah. The, the one who has come up here now. The, no, the, yeah, the, Prince Harry. Megan, um, yeah, Megan and Harry, yeah. yeah. So it's but, it's but it's, it's a crater fire. Again, no, him no, him no, him no mover, man. Him not, him not, that's the man left and gone America go live. Them left and gone America. So it becomes a, a it comes out very them have to try you control everything now, you know. It's like them, them have to call up all the tabloids, them and all them something there and have meet with them for show them, say, look you know, this is what you have to put out, you know, given where I go on now, this is what this is that and it has been confusion, man. Mix up. Right, man. And the biggest thing ever happened to the crown since the crown, you know, right yeah. now, you know. Because you know, them, them people, they're perverted, you know. <laughs> no, when we say pervert. Family hey, thing, man. They Cousin don't see the Cousin history, man. Married to them cousin and nephew, your yeah. uncle. Right, right. Queen Elizabeth, no married with the man where she did with her in 1906. No, some third cousin or something Related. like that. Related. Them all, the house of Windsor and the whole empire, the British Empire. Empire. Them would have more deal with them perversion than deal for say why you're gonna marry a black man or a black yeah. woman, you know. That that is all deep them deep, into deep. the madness, you know. Yeah, them them, them 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 more if you come say you're gay and if you come say boy well, right now you not sleep with a dog or a dog. It it, it it to them that not shocking. You know, but if you go say you're gonna marry you gotta sleep with a black man all right, look on the other one. A William him name. Yeah, William's his name, yeah. The one where Harry no like. Harry no yeah. like him, you know. And him no like Harry no. But you know, Williams. You ever hear about Epstein? Epstein? Epstein, Epstein. Mm -hmm. The man who have this island, him dead in that chair where them did find, say, him did that carry a whole heap of little young girls on the island. This yeah, man, the, in England, see me? No, man, in America, man. The island, the, the island of there in America, man. No, when I said that brother there was him friend, you know. Just like Trump and Clinton. Oh, them, them oh, take, oh, oh. Them take yeah, picture yeah. with him on the island, you know. Them take picture with him on the island. Mm -hmm. And the girl them who now come forward and say Epstein use them as some little some bully pop perversion of going on the island there. You know, so, yes. And that youth they didn't pan it, that brother they didn't pan it to me never call him youth. We, Prince, the, Prince the, William. Yeah, him did the on the island too. Yeah, Trump yeah. did the on the island and Bill Clinton did the on the island. Yeah, them yeah. go and forth to him, just carry them go over there, carry the little young girl, them go over there and do whatsoever them please and will. But you see, all of them things there is not, is nothing to them people there. Them people, they not see that as wickedness. As, as a normal thing. Normal yeah, way. but well, you're going to say you're going to marry to a black man. And I never married to a black woman. That's the wickedest thing you can do to the family. <laughs> but if you go bring that to that family, 
This is cheap if a few human beings. But we used to enslave. We used to have them enslave for much years and you come bring them to the family. You crazy? Yeah, man, that's right. Do the black man king kingdom there, where the black man dynasty and... They were not done know which party they are really, but nobody now look on it. They rather not show you which party they are. And nobody now want to look on it. Africa, Africa we are work with, you know. And why they may watch a video with Queen Elizabeth Muta, a beat ton of gold shoving at the place, and I say, Africa should get them something, I probably know. A thief, them thief it. The whole are carriage. The carriage where she driving now. You understand? It's gold. The carriage. She have the, the biggest diamond of the world. She have it in her in in palace. You remember them find out? They are England. What they mean they are England? No, watch out. They lie on their England? No. They don't see them have a lion on them shilling. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lion on them shilling. So I don't know. Yeah, you must so give me back the lion with the shilling. You must say give me back the shilling with the lion pan it. You never hear that truth again. Give me back the shilling with the lion pan it. What no? Give me back the shilling with the lion, lion pan it. Some people. Yeah. A shilling them use, you know. Pound okay. shilling and pens. Pound shilling and pens. Them don't use dollar. So, it's a thing. It's a thing with these people. These people... What's she name? Queen Elizabeth had the most land in the earth, in the yeah, world. I shouldn't buy none of them. She not none. She have all land down here, she don't even know that she have. And these little guys that <laughs> keep it for her. These little guys down here, where my name, um, where my name again? Brogad. Brogad. Oh, what are you talking about, Brogad? I call him Baby Trump. Baby. <laughs> Baby Trump. Her uncle. Oh, God. I'm, where do I want to say my, 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 my minister of Tough health? Dad. Yeah, my uncle, uh, Uncle Trump. And who are the 200 gun? 200, oh, I mean what 200 gun? They don't know. Oh, the Chinese, the Chinese, Yeah, no, he's the Minister of National Security, the man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying 200 guns coming to the island every week, month, you know. He said that, you know. He said mm -hmm. every month 200 guns coming to the, the, the island. I mean, why not? Since he said that, how much gun them find? They not find a gun. Yeah, you see them kill some man up, them kill some man up at Augustown and tell them find seven guns. So, I could say them find ten guns since the month start. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the, the quota of guns don't match up to the criminality we are going. That's right. But him say, if he's intelligent, show him that. Say 200 guns coming at the island every month. That's why I call him 200 guns, you know, I have to find some name other than Chang. Why are you there so many things for talk about, Star? Yeah, man. Give thanks, brethren. Give yeah, thanks. Man. Blessings. Blessings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This is the cutting edge on IRFM. I was seeing Chad on Babylon there. Yo, yo. Hey, boy. Yeah, look, Mr. Hey, yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it. You want to have to play a good album there, no, Papa? <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> Uh, uh, creation, uh, uh, one of them. <laughs> all right, I'm Don't, don't mess right. with Jill. Something. Oh, fire down below, all them tune the pan. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, man. The whole album. Serious, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Mm. And my album, I've all two tunes we never released yet, you know. The one where mm -hmm. have the album. Yeah, the same album they may have. Me have two tune pan it when not released, never released. I wonder. They make it special for me. They make it special for me. When me, I work, because when me get the album there, you know, I, 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 I just want a piece of white cardboard to wrap up in there, you know. <laughs> a long time, a long time, a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, so you get them. You know, yeah, I want them new civilization, new civilization. Yeah. You know that show there? Yeah, I try to remember, you know. No, but I try to remember, man, because I hear that bus up. We will not eat you up and leave it out. It's a big tune pan it. Jesus Christ, my love it. Don't tell no one you have seen me. Look at tell no one you have seen me, man. I have not yet seen it to my father. Come this Mr. Like the Mr. Like the 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 Muslim brother beat my chest and the man ball out to Jesus Christ. And I'm on licking said said Dread? Dread? Why are you the greatest? You 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 made a Muslim follow for Jesus, yeah. and the man begs with me, not playing no more chess with me. I am mean, not miss you, you know. But you know, <laughs> say Muslim believe in a Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah, I'm a prophet. Let yeah, them say I'm a prophet, yeah, but not mm -hmm. the son of God because God can't have no son. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, just them, so. that the man I say him should have say Allah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The man get begs with me, man. Him, 
Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know. A couple of weeks now, I can't get to. But some little things where I mean, kind of jack down. I mean, I mean yeah, you, the topic. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why you can't get through, you know, but I don't want to say it, you know, because yeah, you don't yeah. mix with me, I say it. Mm. Me, um, yeah, the topic, them, no, me, they just jack down some stuff, right? They are upon that, upon that, so I'm not too worried, but I won't, I don't really. I remember you that talked something about New York one time, and I think you that say, oh, like them name the place them after, the English place. Some place them, in and England, yeah. Yeah. Because me, remember, me, don't tell you that. Like New Amsterdam, New Amsterdam, New Amsterdam, please. Yeah, me, don't tell you that. New York, the name New Amsterdam first, because of okay. the Belgian them. Yeah, oh, that's why I mean, was because he that said, I um, I um, England and France and, and, and Spain they go over there. So now North America, but me they say the Dutch them they did it too. Yeah. Because of the Dutch them, they have up New York, the name New Amsterdam. Yeah. And the English them changed the name to New York. Well, that's why I'm saying yeah. them change the New York because they have a York mm -hmm. in, in England. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Them New, like, like, um, um, New Hampshire, they have a Hampshire in England. I will put them, will put them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And, um, with, with, with talking about them and the Belgian and thing, you talk about the Belgian them down in the Congo. And I mean, they want to say, my take on it. I I I I think why you say I go and the Congos today with the black and black thing down there. Mm. They come in like oh the police them down here with that stop you off your ticket and say left or right, you know? <laughs> in a in a in a in a in a in a the Congo now when them on the back you up and say short sleeve or long sleeve. <laughs> I mean you say chop off your hand. <laughs> yes, whatever you want to chop off down at the wrist or you chop off chop up the elbow. Up the elbow. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, say... Let me used to do that to the Thai, you know, them, too. Let me used to do it to the Thai, you know, them. But the Belgian, they get that thing there from, you know. Yes, The Belgian, them used to do them, that, you know, back in the day. So them used to do them. And I think I didn't mention to say, the idea of scalping come from the cavalry, them, the cowboy, them. It's not the Indian, it's true, them that do it to the Indian, them, why the Indian, them start doing it back to them. Because the amount of, the amount of scalp, them go carrying can decide if them get promotion and all them something there. Mm -hmm. Man, that's yeah, yeah. the ears and them something there. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. And, 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 you know, that thing now, you did know, say, like, Christopher Columbus, he never know, say, him thinks he reached the East Indies, that's why they never know, but him did know, yes, him realize it. But him did swear to them there first, when him first land down this side. But yeah. to him, do know, when he realized, still, him, him make it, me reading our um, book, like I'm telling you, me did have one book I may read, but it's it, it in our Spanish. Yeah. You know, and you know how the Spanish them first come that side, that's so what for them history me try to look at them, that kind of, I don't really research, but anyone going to find the whole, whole book, them and them like read, because them close. You really are the African the them then. first come here, so still, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, but me out of the European them. Okay, because we come well, before Columbus a long time. Yeah. yeah. At the European history, then we are dealing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. They, boy, as you talk, that's about we come before Columbus, you can't lick the iron, they lick her eye, you know. And Men they, like they, they Christopher Columbus. Columbus. He's cover, he's cover and and yeah. And yeah. Hey. You are going to him. cover my program, my music, program with the music. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> but, yeah, we, 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 um, the European, because you know, mostly European history, we get mm. uh, at the time. So, you end up, you know, he make, he make the, the man, them, um, Swear in band them swear, say um, they reach West Indies, they reach East India, yeah. and if any of them would say nothing different, different, they will cut yeah. out their tongue. Yeah, they will cut out their tongue. Yeah, you know, see it. So I them think they're going away, but that little book that I get for done, because you know, to we can ask for a translate, my translate and work, I go on. I'm going to go take the book for a weekend, and I'm saying, no, I'm going to book down the library, I'm going to the people, if anybody else want to use it, I'm going to come back. Uh, uh, and they go back a couple of days later, I book cards for them to take the book to Rockstone. Yeah. Well, you know, they take a whole heap of the time, you know, them carry go back and spin with them. Yeah, man. They don't know any kind. And they, yeah. Yeah, so them carry anybody, they find anyway. Yeah. And the original people, they carry them back as... Uh, use as them as puppy show. Puppy show. Yeah. 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 Y
puppet show them call it. Lots of, lots of them do it to have in a zoo. Yeah, man, zoo, oh gosh, man. Years, the Belgians and the French mm-hmm. and the Portuguese. Mm-hmm. Years, man. Ka, I know that book there. That's the same little Spanish book there. And I say, the name, all the time, everybody has said, Ocho Rios, Eight Rivers, because I have Eight Rivers, but then call it Ocho Rios. I don't know. So if there's any name, Los Torios. Los Torios. Because when they, yeah, when they, when they, when they come out, and I see them, I watch them, I look up, you know, up which part. Fern Gully, then over the big, I river, they run up that wood by waterfall and things. Yeah, thing. yeah, man, you be a night regular, man. Oh, yeah, man, I want them to look, the view where they get, the, 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 the sun, the water look like it a glisten, like it a shimmer, like. Oh, me think of the river like where we run through, through where they need that talk. Where the place where people go up the ground, how go? Up a redundant river, you talk? No, no. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay. Rabbits be here, they talk. Where them call yeah, a place? Yeah, Mystic, Mystic Mountain. Mystic Mountain. You have a river run through yeah, the Mystic yeah. Mountain there, you know. Mm. Come from well, clear run and from run and front gully there, so, you know. Because you can walk through the sun, go run and front gully. Yeah, man. That the river. No. In the 80, 80, 81. Me used to go there, so, like, me stay up the whole night. I'm saying, you know, so I'm not going to sleep in the idea. But, you know, you're tired. Mm. I'm going to go down a fisherman beach there, so. Yeah. Going at the sea, cause, you know, five o'clock in the morning, see you warm. Mm. And then the walk and go inside, you know, every river cold, you can't put it to in there and time, but you are going to let you have to yeah. jump in. <laughs> and when me jump in, you know, it give yeah. your heart a shock, you know, boom! Yeah, you yeah. fly up, now you're wide awake for your idea. What's the woman tell you, say, we used to go around there and build all three houses around there with bamboo mm. and water and, and greater coconut. They were only full of coconut, you know, we used to. We used to make coconut oil come out of the bush with all two bag of cocos, two cocos bag of coconut and go and go to market to sell coconut. Yeah. Them days, they never want to go in and off and them say, Rasta, mm. in the back with the coconut, them, you know. You want to see you itch up in that, right in the back till you reach a mobile. <laughs> well, I remember them days, remember yeah. them days, I mean, I see people are going somewhere about Rasta, I mean, I said, man. Yeah, man, man. Well, them say, yeah, can't come away, can't come away, man. And the planet now, stone of the building, I refuse. Become the building, become mm. the building. <laughs> More than yeah. can, I stone now. You know? Anyway. And he... I'm going to play the tune, okay. him. Yeah, but what on it? Tonight, no. Me mm. a sequel. Yes. Because, you know, the CMOR with the two of them, they're not with nursing, you know, the Crimean war. Yes. But everybody know about Florence Nightingale. Yes, I never know about Mercy Cole. And, not, uh, uh, and then said Florence Nightingale, she went about a hundred miles or so away from the front line, you know. Yeah, Mercy so Cole in, in at the front line. Yeah. Mercy Cole right the front up there. Line. The bullet a fly around her head sometimes. Yeah, when many day at school of Florence Nightingale, me hear about, me never hear about yes. Mercy Cole. No. Florence Nightingale, me hear about, yeah. Because then said, fear is to the last year, hundred years, I find a, I want to go find it in our library, in our school. Eh? Mm-hmm. One of the soldiers of them did donate some, you know, him writing to him, I write and write both are over the years. Yeah, man. And then donate it to the school and, 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 and whatever, and, him, and somebody go find it in there. Some, and, and, and then start, and then bring, bring it up back, that's them all put on a statue to her a couple of years ago. Yeah, and, yeah, just, yeah, just say that they didn't put up the statue. Mm-hmm. And as she, PR, we have to go up at the war, you know, because when she go volunteer. Right. When she go volunteer, then turn her down, you know, because she black her, whatever. Black, yeah. Yeah. But I want to tell you something, down. too. I want to tell you something, you know, because within that level, they know, with, 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 with Mary Sequel, them used to call, them used to say she was a black, she was a black nightingale. Mm. <laughs> um, um, what's your name? What woman named Nightingale? A nightingale, she Florence. Florence. Florence Nightingale. Nightingale. Yeah, she was a black night, Florence Nightingale. I mean, them people, they're terrible, you know, man. A mirror see calling in at the tick at the back, you know. And the, I yes. the soldier them, you know. Mm. And she you now become the black nightingale. Mm. You know what I mean? She, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and the next thing, Medusa. Yeah, the garden. Uh, yeah, well, I know the garden. I tried a tree sister them, you know. Yeah. I tried them and then call the garden. Yeah, but she you know you, you say you say to me remember it. A year no, you know, a dunk year no, but mm. to me remember it. I not turn she went turn that one. He went sneak up on him and look him looking at the mirror. And walk back with and looking at the mirror and she asleep and then chop off her head. Mm. 
um, pour te calmer, ma se, il me dit, il me dit, il est abbête, 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 il est Tell him say him a hook get killed by his grandson. Yeah. So him taking that and he lock up in that and I want place so no man can get to her. But you know Zeus a bad boy, you know Zeus. Zeus a bad boy. See him like oh God do mirror. See him like oh God do mirror. So Zeus. Him is a woman. Him is a woman. I is a man. Yes. Him a bad woman. Him in a even for himself. Him did go to, to but in love the matter one them. Yeah. And he go to her, uh, he get her pregnant to her, uh, I want him to start cold and drop off rain or like so or something like but that. But wait, 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 stick up in, don't forget what he has said, but you see the part of the Bible, I think at Genesis 4, where it says the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fear and took unto themselves, mm-hmm. right? And in that day, giant will come. And them story that them think they are come from, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man, the sons mm-hmm. of God and... The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fear. Is it is it Zeus argument and Hercules and yeah, all that people there? Yeah. We saw that the daughters of these people and they were look fear. fear. Mm. Yeah, them took unto themselves wife of those people. Uh, and then too, you know, you should have seen thing there when it's born in Nephilim. When if you say uh, and, 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 and them are great men, big men, to me, it, 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 it me translated the 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 me you know me get all tight you know you know most means that them big in a statue you know the a giant you know them because they mind mentally them know mm. things because mm. if I angel yeah, can yeah. be like that you know enough we have to interpret it yeah, just like we, no, we, no, go back go back to this thing yeah. because there's so much interpretation that's that true, true that's true. True. The true, one with true, the, the uh, one with the gag and me at all about the me do yeah, right. right yeah so him get her pregnant like that. And and when the father find us and wrapped it himself, well, when the son know, he just take she and her son, but he never want to kill them, because he love them. Mm. But he put them in a one chest and like, so put them on the sea and set them afloat. But Zeus, Zeus now go talk to Poseidon. You know, say he's the king of the sea, he's the god for the sea. Mm. And call him Neptune, Neptune Nero, Neptune. Nero, and call him Neptune. Neptune, mm. but Poseidon, yeah. yeah, Poseidon run the sea, that's why in a Greek. <laughs> and, 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 and talk to him, and so the sea stay calm. And he end up on an island there. Uh, and one fisherman pick him up and, and grow him. But the fisherman brother, when king of the island, mm. him see the mother and love off the mother. But Perseus never like it. That the son Perseus, I him kill the garden. Mm. And, and bam, 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 him in a him way. So I'm not trying to figure out how he can get with him. And one day he Perseus a bow, so he can kill him. can kill the guy and Medusa, the bad one, because Medusa and the bad one out each other. Mm. And, and him, so he just said, all right, you say you can't do it, you will do If you can't do it, then you have to make me marry your mother. And he take the bed. But he go and he boom and he go find a tree witch. I don't remember what they call them. Gry ass and like so. I don't remember exactly. But find the tree witch them. You remember that part there? Eh? Tree witch them, we got one eye. And one teeth amongst each other. Like, like Cyclops. No, man, no, no, Cyclops. Cyclops got one eye and I fired them. So. Yeah. But the, out of the tree, oh, you know, yeah, 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 But yeah, they yeah. have one eye with them, I for sure, for the three of them. So one take one eye and look and can't see for a while. Then you know, I miss that movie there with it, you know. I miss that movie with it, you know. Believe me. That's what I'm Jason. Jason and the Argonauts. Jason and the Argonauts. Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood. I had a book that I read when I look of it. Yeah, Mr. Wood. But you are know. You are know. That's nice. I don't know if it's a version of the story or what, but a version of the story. Say, turn it. Say, say, she turn it. Say, she look back in the mirror and see herself. Ah. And turn it in stone. Yeah, so my story is different. But the one I know, I know, say, when in, cause when in chop off her head from the blood, yeah. you remember yeah. the wing ass, Pegasus? Pegasus, yeah. Because then say, oh, tell that spring foot, her two sons, because she had two sons, Pegasus yeah. and, you know, remember the other one, yeah, some Cyphus, Cyphus, I remember. Mm. But mm. Pegasus, when become the wing ass. Yes, yes. You know, see? Pegasus uh, are the wing ass. That's why yeah, it, it, it flourishes still all now. You have Pegasus. White yeah. ass with two wings. Yeah. So, him, 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 they get from the witch, them in, in the teeth with their eye. Yeah. And, yeah. and tell them, so they can't get there, they have to help him to go. Yeah, remember that story. Remember the eye story. Yeah. And they help him to go teeth. 
il a dit um, helmet with turn him invisible. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then he get the bag to put the head in the hall and sit down and the mirror. Well, I, I think I think I gave him the mirror. Really, you have to go call back. I will. Well, then, yeah. Because it's a very All interesting. Right, uh, that no, hey, no, hey, what hey. may I say? It's, hmm? it's, it's hmm. interesting to talk them things that we call. You yeah, hardly hear people that talk about them things up on the radio. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You have uh, Greek mythology, uh, you have Roman mythology, you have Egyptian mythology. I will never hear about, but all we can hear about is Jewish mythology. Uh, uh, Christian, yeah. Uh, Christian, Christian mythology. mythology. And the whole yeah. The one of them I see them is, is, a, is a point, them not to be taken literally. No, it's allegories. Yeah. Allegories. All right. All right, all right. Rap a move, all rap a move, rap a move. Till it's a, the Virgin just bring back some, I'm a mother vibes to me a while ago when we had talked about Greek mythology and the Roman mythology about the Gargan and Neptune and Zeus and all them things there. And my mother make me know about them someday, you know. Yeah, man, my mother... She was into those things, man. She can't tell you anything about European history, and she never got no high school to study it. Just read, 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 read. But guess what now? Can you imagine Zeus, Z-E-U-S, the god of Greek mythology, was actually the gods that these Greeks believe in, huh? I mean... Years, hundreds of years, Zeus was the god of all the gods. And as you hear me at the bridge in attack a while ago, say, it was a god we love woman, mortal woman. Him sleep with all of them. Yes, still guess what? It's a mythology. It's a mythology. And people now would have never talked about Zeus in Greece right now. That is an ancient, old time thing to talk about. Can you imagine that? There was a time when, just like how you hear people are talking about the God of the Bible, it's the same way they used to talk about Zeus. Just like you hear the talk about the God of the Bible, so people used to talk about Isis, Horus, and Osiris. The same way, for hundreds of years, Isis, uh, Isis ended up in a Greek mythology too. Isis ended up in a Greek mythology. You saw a a, a group of people who used to worship Isis in Europe. It's a female thing. A whole heap of female dressed up in a white and profess Isis as them saviour. And now that is no more. So when people are telling you about this and that and this and that, God's come and God's go. That is really what we are saying. God's come and God's go. This is the cutting edge and RFM. Yes, we say give thanks, you know. Give thanks and yes, so much things you know. Say a little more from this, we'll be back here from two to five, four to five with the stepping razor, the art of war. We have some, we have some interviews lined up. We want to talk about the implications of the statements made by. Um, Harry and Megan and how it was shed upon the the royal house and the reason why even now more than ever we should have really looked upon severing ties with the the house of Windsor yes with the governor general and all these things because it just don't make no sense don't make no sense don't make no sense you know um, last year, I think last year we had the 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 revelation about the this insignia upon the upon the um the governor general chess I wear this insignia with the a, a white angel foot in a black angel neck. Obviously, the black angel represents the devil. And the white angel represent the glory of God. That look like judge. <laughs> where them, where them try. As a matter of fact, them I try this case right now, where the policeman have him knee in the man neck, kill him. Similar thing. And now we have this now, a representation of the queen. Representation of the queen. We feel like, say, and I can't why here there's a whole heap of things happening in England 
because after the, the, the revelation, because we in other part of the world have seen it before England, you know. This interview we see it before England. And the revelations will come out of that interview. It's creating quite a stir in England. The effect, the tsunami, the tsunami will reach inside of the Buckingham Palace. I should have Windsor Castle, you know. The tsunami will be there. Amongst that family, you know. And how people view. I mean, we don't know all of these things already, you know. It's not like say, we're surprised because we don't know how racist these people are over the years. And we don't know, so they really not cater for certain situations, if it's not in the interest of them. And then we do wicked things. If them feel, say, you're a threat to them, what them call it now, them, how them look and how you're supposed to see them. Yeah, you're a threat. Them just do things. We know that. So that is things where, and then we have the vaccine thing. We we'll try and forget some man up at the up at, up at the um, university to talk about this vaccine thing, where them unleash upon the people them now. We we'll see a whole heap of people take it today. A whole heap, a whole heap of people take it. You know, we're we'll gonna see what going to happen. Because you have the, 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 the anti-vaccine people them who's hell-bent and telling people, say, don't take the vaccine. And you have the people them who say, them prefer take it. That even if it not do nothing, them still know, say, them feel more secure by taking it. You have people who think that way. Forty had million people take it in America already, not to mention England and all these places. So, all of these things, all of these things is happening in and around us. In and around us. So, yes, we're going to be back here at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock we're going to be back here. And as usual, I want to thank my brethren, Shane Clark, Yes, we have thank Shane Clark and we want to thank Nigel who is always on the button. May I tell you, always on the button. So my brethren just call and we really had discuss and I'm talk about Burning Spear. We can't play one tune from the album. Well, a three or four tune we got now from the album. This is the third tune, sorry. Third tune from the album said album and we, we, we like when him call you know why because he remind me of some things we may forget <laughs> yeah man he remind me of some things we may forget yeah very important things too and even though he bring up back the Jason and the Argonauts and he bring up what people could have even know what we are talking about you know but you can't google what we are talking about when you hear about Zeus and Medusa and all of these things, just say, wait, I will motor them at all, but it's Greek mythology. Everybody have their mythology, like the Ashanti of Brother Nancy. Brother Nancy is a mythology. That's a lie, it's a mythology. It's there to express something in human condition, but then put it in a way that it masks the thinking or the idea. So you don't see it as a literal thinking. So a lot of things in the Bible is not real. It's, it's, it's mass, them mass, some ideas. You know, you have stories in a comic. We have some serious, when, when, when me and you tell me I read comic, I just read comic because I comic, but no me come realize eh, it is the, the person who writing it is trying to show you something in real life but then put it in a way like it's a fiction just like some movies a lot of things we used to watch in our movies and we'll have say, where them get them things from now it become real 
Remember last in space? You used to watch last in space? You never see them have cell phone in a last in space. You know, like from me, a little pick the black and white movie, me I watch last in space. I'm see them with cell phone in a last in space. The other day, me I look on some of the old, the old one, them and me I say, I swear. She has the man I take up a cell phone there. Them things they was not heard of. Cell phone is a whole heap of things. And then you have a next joke one named the Jetsons. When you look on the Jetsons, you know, you have some real thing in there now. We become reality right now. You understand? But they know you have stories which uh, them try to depict stories in you know, certain things that you can't believe, say, Superman and Batman is real. Nobody don't believe that. So if you don't believe Superman and Batman is real, and most Jamaican people don't believe say, Brother Nancy is real because them not say, Brother Nancy is a, a story about a little general, general spider. And you actually have give you, you, you're making the, 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 the spider become what I call it anthropomorphic of the qualities and the, the, the character of a human being. Just like what most people do with God. They make bad God as an anthropomorphic being. Meaning you know, all the attributes and characters of a human being, you give it over to God. So nobody believes a spider. There was a spider named Brother Nancy, and he had Brother Tukuma and Brother Tiger. Because these tigers are not, they must talk in. So if you don't believe that, but you, be, you, you know so the story have a meaning behind it. It's an allegory. There's a story behind that. Brother Nancy story. It's not just a story man who's come up and talk. Him say, this is a story. It's not a, a real a, a Nancy. Most people don't believe it. Most Christians don't believe it. Then why the hell you don't want to believe that snake attack to a woman? Why would you want to believe that snake attack to a woman? Or a donkey attack? Or Joshua command the sun to stand still? Why you want to believe these things? Because it is in the Bible. As long as it is in the Bible, it's literal. Anything outside of the Bible now is fiction. And is 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 foolishness. So all them Zeus story, them Zeus story was before Christianity. And people, thousands of people live them life in the concept of Zeus. Thousands of people, if not millions of people, live them life according to the traditions of them ancestors in Greece. And tradition of them ancestors in Mesopotamia. Traditions of them ancestors in Sumeria, Sumeria, I mean in China. All peoples have them mythologies. Everybody have them mythologies. But most people don't force their mythology upon other people. And don't use their mythology to really control people. I don't know if no other group of people like Europeans who do that. Them have some little stories. And because them want to make you believe that the story is centered around them. Them actually start to tell you, say, you must believe this or else. Because them have your belief in, say, there's a place under the earth with fire like fire. Where you're going to go down there and down dead. But just burn forever and ever for a thousand years. Can you imagine a human flesh is in fire and it is burning and it now melts and nothing? You just know that. What kind of cruel and wicked thinking is that? That God, the omnipresent, omniscient, all compassionate God, when God put people in a fire and make them stay there and burn and you're now dead. People actually believe these things. <laughs> we I tell you. People actually believe these things. About fire down below and it's only fire below is under fat I know about. That is where the fire I know about. But I guess people will continue believing it until we reach the stage just like Zeus. Where them no longer believe in Zeus. Where them no longer believe in Horus. 
but them just see it as a historical reference point for something meaningful and understanding and go back to the sun the sun is the source of our life farms and earth no life can enter or live without the sun so it is better to really look at the sun and give homage to the sun rather than a talk about a man who passed gone and you don't even know if he'll be dead or not yes it's a serious thing because who can deny the power of the sun? As Christians turn the S O U N, the S U N to S O N. That is what them do. Them say that like them say the sun is the sky, which is that the Egyptian them used to do. Them tell say the sun is the, the embodiment of that sun mythology. It's placed in a human being. And that's what we call anthropomorphism. But you place these stories that was weavering and hoovering around Eastern Africa and Northern Africa in those times. And now it becomes stories that if you don't believe it, them to say, you're going to burn in a fire. I like me, but don't burn in the fire already. As a matter of fact, I may create the fire and put wood in the fire. <laughs> Make it blaze.